gospel lesson is taken from the book of John, the first chapter, verses 1 through 18. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through Him, and without Him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in Him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness cannot overcome it. Now there was a man sent from God whose name was John, we call John the Baptist. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light but came to testify to the light. The true light which enlightens everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of the human but of God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen His glory, the glory as of a Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. John the Baptist testified to him and cried out, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks ahead of me, because he was before me. From his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. The law indeed was given through Moses. Grace and truth came in Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. It is God, the only Son, who is close to the Father's heart, who has made him known. The congregation may be seen. How far is it to Bethlehem? I can imagine Mary and Joseph traveling to Bethlehem, the city of David. Mary is pregnant. Both of them are scared. They've traveled a long ways, and they have no place to stay. I can imagine the shepherds traveling to Bethlehem. They have witnessed an angel a heavenly host of angels saying, Do not be afraid, for I bring you great news. They have traveled a long ways to see this thing that has happened. I can imagine the wise men, the magi, traveling to Bethlehem. Having studied the stars, following the stars, bearing gifts, they have traveled a long ways to find this newborn king. Mary and Joseph, the shepherds, the wise men, traveled with wonder, excitement, and fear. Yet upon Jesus' arrival, I have to believe that they also experienced the warmth of love, light in the darkness, and the peacefulness of God's presence. No doubt tonight many of you have traveled a long ways for Christmas celebrations. I know we have people here from California and the West Coast. We have people from the East Coast. We have people from the Deep South. Probably a lot of places that I'm not aware of. If you've traveled to be here tonight, welcome. And if you've traveled home, welcome home. I'm glad you're here. This is a special night. This night, the birth of Jesus 
is perhaps the most significant night in the history of the world. Christmas night reveals to us so much. Christmas reveals something about who Jesus is. God, born human. Truly God and truly man truly died and rose again. Emmanuel, the great I am, son of God, son of man. Messiah, Savior, servant and friend, Lamb of God, Prince of Peace. Shepherd of the sheep, King of kings. Powerful and strong, yet meek and mild. Christmas reveals who Jesus is. Something new, something bright, transformation, water into wine, darkness into light. A gift from above, the gift of hope, the gift of peace, the gift of joy, the gift of grace and truth. Christmas reveals something about this gift we receive in Jesus Christ. Christmas also reveals something about who God is. Today's gospel text says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was in God, and the Word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen His glory. No one has ever seen God. It is the Son who is close to the Father's heart that has made God known. Jesus has made God known. This child, this baby, this innocent Jesus reveals God's heart. Jesus reveals God's heart of peace, reveals God's heart of love, reveals God's heart for forgiveness. Christmas reveals something about God that is bigger than our own experience with God, bigger than our own perspective, bigger than our doubts, questions, or troubles. We don't have to wonder what God is like. We don't have to wonder who God is because God is revealed in Christmas. God is revealed in Christ. Not a God of hate, not a God of violence, not a God of pain, a God of love, a God of hope, a God of healing. Who is this God, creator of heaven and earth? We know because of Christ the gift we receive in Christmas. Christmas reveals who Jesus is. Christmas reveals who God is. Christmas also reveals who we are. We, like Mary and Joseph, like the shepherds, like the wise men, have traveled. We are travelers in this journey of life. Having been a pastor and losing people in my life, I've come to realize this journey isn't very long. In the Christmas season, we tend to remember, grieve, and miss people who were with us and now are gone. How long is this journey of life? It's not very long. Christmas time is a great time to celebrate, to grieve, to look back and remember. It's also a great time to take inventory of life, to plan and look ahead. Am I living the life that I want to live? Am I living the life that God wants me to live? Am I doing the things that I need to do? Now what we do is important. It matters. Yet what we do is not nearly as important as what God has already done in this gift of his son. You see, that's what Christmas is all about. How far is it to Bethlehem? How far away is God? Not very far. Because God is here. This is what Christmas is all about. God has come to us. Let us see this thing that has happened. Let us experience for ourselves the love of God. If you have never experienced the love of God, 
experience it now. If you have never believed before, believe now. How far is it to Bethlehem? How far is it from doubt to faith? How far away is God? Not very far. Because God is here. God is here in this Christmas Eve service. God is at the dinner table. God is in the gathering of family and friends. God is in the giving of gifts. God is in the gift of his son, Jesus Christ. If you have taken an inventory of life, if you're looking for something new, something true, if you're looking for something authentic, something meaningful and with purpose, tonight I have good news. For unto us tonight, in the city of David, a child is born, a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. The light in the darkness, the revealer of God, full of grace and truth. This, this is what is revealed in Christmas. Tonight, may you experience the warmth of love, light in the darkness, and the peacefulness of God's presence. To God be the glory, now and forever. Amen.